Guys, you got Mason, Tom, Seth, Ashton, Jared Tebow, Jared Wiggins, Kyle Holmberg, Chad Parks, Mitchell Pavel, and Bradley Peterson. This is your 30 minute Nitro A main. Let's see what we can do. Listen for the tone. Wait a minute, wait a minute, bring him back, bring him back, bring him back. Bring him back, bring him back, bring him back. You guys got a flag man, you gotta make sure that they're all ready to go. Gotta make sure that they're all ready to go first. If you see somebody having some trouble, give them a little bit of time. These are your expert a mainers here. Actually, the sportsman guys were... Hold on a second. All right, let's see what you can do. Let's try this again. Riley, look up. Riley. Boop. Here we go. And we are off. Mason Fuller, your TQ. It's a TLR train of cars. Mason, Tom Rinderneck, Seth Van Dalen, right there. Jared Tebow moving up now to the four. Looks like Ashton Abdul, Jared Wiggins, Chad Parks, Mitchell Pavel, Kyle Holmberg, and Bradley Peterson all stacking up behind him. Super tight and close up front. The two teammates, Mason and Tom Rinderneck, being hounded by the uh, reigning champ here, Seth Van Dalen. Jared Tebow not that far. Oh, Van Dalen drops a dime on Rinderneck, dropping in, getting that inside line before Tom got there and makes the move. Now he's going to try to force the issue on Mason Fuller. Very close racing up at the top. The Techno guys looking a little racy after a struggle day of qualifying. These TLR guys kind of got the drop on him a little bit. Mason short, Seth in the middle, Tom Rinderneck long, Jared Tebow hanging back there. The three youngsters up front. Two-time world champ. Right now, patiently being lingering behind him. Uh oh, there was trouble for Mason. Caught up Seth, Renanek goes the wrong way. The two TLR guys busting through. Tebow sees an opening and can't quite get there. Mason, after all that, holds him off. Van Dalen right behind Jared. Wow, what a turn of events. Renanek is in trouble. Tom Renanek's car might be busted. That was a crazy lap. But after all that, it's now Mason kind of escaped a little bit, followed by Seth, followed by Jared. Then behind him, who do we got? We got Chad Parks, the old dude in front of Ashton and Jared. Then Holmberg and Mitchell Pavel. Looks like Tom Rinderneck got back out there. There's Bradley Peterson, but your leaders. Right now it's Mason Fuller, Seth Van Dalen, Jared Tebow. That's the top three. Mason has a one point lead in points. Jared has to get in front of Mason and Mason has to finish two spots behind now because of that extra TQ point to force any sort of tie break. We're only three, 320 into this one, guys. Look at the battle back here for fourth place right now. That is Chad Parks. Showed up, got like an hour of practice, maybe less. And now he's battling up here for fourth place. Oh, Ashton getting the inside line on him. Nice move. Meanwhile, up front, Bradley Peterson, you're going to have Mason Fuller coming up quickly behind you. And then Seth and Jared. A 
Oh, Seth going to tap out a little bit. Tebow's going to get around, so he can set his sights now up on Mason if he can handle him. Mason's been going fast. Fast laps, actually, Van Dalen right now with a 22 flat. These guys were plunking down 21s and qualifying. The track might have gotten a little slower, maybe. Maybe it's got almost uh, too much grip. These cars are starting to get tight. You never know. Trouble back here. That was uh, Wiggins. Wiggins having a rough go of it early in this one. There's Mason, Jared, Seth. Seth catching back up to Jared Tebow. Got about four and a half minutes in. 25 and a half minutes left to go. Let's see how long my hand can last. Little roll over there. Gonna let Seth get back up into the two spot now. There's Mason Fuller. Watch him as he goes around. Five down, 25 to go. Couple more bobbles there and that's gonna open it up here for second. That's actually Ashton and Duel. Not far back there. We're coming up behind Bradley Peterson. Mason Fuller coming up behind uh, Wiggins and Kyle Holmberg to put you guys one lap down. And Van Dalen is digging pretty hard here. 21-6 now, so new fast lap from Seth. Trying to catch up to Mason Fuller. A lot of cars in front of your leader. Mason Fuller trying to pick his way through. Looks like guys starting to come into the pit lane. Got six down, 24 to go. Six minutes, a little early. Fuller's now got some clean track. Now it's Seth Van Dalen's turn to get through these guys. Bradley Peterson, uh, Jared Wiggins, Kyle Holmberg. Did you see that blue and orange buggy, you know what to do. Jared Tebow hanging on to that three spot. It's kind of a no man's land right now. Getting a lot closer to that first pit window. These guys usually pit about seven and a half or so. This is a traction roll for Peterson. That uh, doesn't really change a whole lot. But Seth has been digging. He's uh, reduced that lead down to about two, two seconds. It was 2.4. So Seth and Mason, these two uh, no strangers to each other here at the Hollyplex Techno Series the last couple years now. It's been uh, between these two. This is the first year we've had Jared here for four out of five as well. And Mason is coming in. Pit guys get that first pit window. Seth gets the end. I think they like to put him down that ramp. Gets a little bit cleaner exit. And I don't know, a battle of pit guys. That might have been... Um, Edge Van Dalen, we'll see here on this lap. Let's see what the lap time is. 27 to a 27.5, one tenth of a second. So basically dead even. No advantage either way. But they're back on track. You can see Jared Tebow right there behind Tom Rennerneck. Tom Rennerneck early flame out. Not really part of any points battle here either, so. Gets to get a 20 minute feel for the car. Getting close to about eight and a half down. We'll work together a little bit. That's actually Holmberg and Wiggins. You guys are battling for position along with Chad Parks. I think that's Parks actually in front of uh, Holmberg now. Mitchell Pavel. All the way up to fourth from the ninth position, getting that bump up. And 
There's Mason Fuller, Van Dalen all over him. So here we go. Our second pit cycle. You've got Mason and Seth Van Dalen. Tom Rinderdecht behind him. Ashton Abdul in front of him. So a couple of TLR guys sandwiched between your leaders. And about 10 minutes down, getting close. Knocking these two big nitro races out right away. Seth might be a little faster than Mason in that elevated sweeper. He's been catching him, showing the nose. We're coming up behind Ashton to put him another lap down very shortly here. And Ashton plunks it into the pipe. And Rinderneck's going to just kind of cling on to Seth's rear bumper while they battle for the lead. Seth is right there, trying different lines, trying different ways. That's where he dropped a dime earlier. Mason saw that, I'm sure. He's hugging that pipe tight now. Jared Tebow still in the three spot. How about Mitchell Pavel in the four? Then Chad, Kyle, Jared, Tom, Ashton, and Bradley Peterson. Leaders coming up behind Jared Wiggins right now, running in the uh, sixth position. Seth with a little bobble. Tom Rinderneck wisely says, oh, sorry, here you go. You can have that spot back. A little bit of, little bit of track position. Now it's uh, Jared Wiggins, the techno teammate. Gonna let Seth go as they go down the straightaway. Jared Tebow, kind of in no man's land right now. He's about 16 seconds off the battle for the lead, and he's got 36 seconds over Mitchell Pavel. He's actually coming up to you to put another lap down. Every time Mason stretches it out, Seth closes it back up. You can see pretty much everybody that's here left in the building watching this one as they go over that big gap jump in the middle now. Really got to stretch that engine out. 11 and a half minutes down, 18 and a half to go. Mason, Seth, these guys were both at Dirt Nitro Challenge a couple of weeks ago on a much different, big, loose eight scale track. Boy, Seth, all sorts of pressure on Mason. This is where he got Tom, can't quite get there. Mason, hugging that tight. Keeping the door closed. Oh, Mason goes a little wide. Seth's right there. Seth hanging on to it. Both of them bouncing off pipes a little bit. Seth carrying a little bit of momentum. Mason doing all sorts of blocking now. You almost feel like Seth Carr kind of waking up a little bit. Trying to find the inside position. Mason keeping the door closed. Oh, a little bump and run, a little shake and bake. Oh, but he gives the spot back. Interesting. If that was me, I would have just went. <laughs> These two know each other well, though. They don't want to, they want to make a cleaner pass than that. Excellent job from Seth. Coming up behind Holmberg here. Seth still just hounding Mason. Get a little, oh, Mason with a mistake. And that right there, Seth had nothing to do with. Seth's like, all right, I'm out of here. Now let's see what happens. Now it'll be Mason's turn. Kyle Homer has got the leader. There he goes. Good job. Oh my goodness, Seth gets loose. No, hangs on to it. Thought he was going to give it right back. We're getting closer and closer to that pit window. Probably another minute and a half or so for our next round of pit stops. Jared Tebow is still 19 seconds behind the battle for the lead. 
Kyle Holmberg now up to fourth, then Mitchell, Jared, Tom, Chad, Ashton, and Bradley. If uh, Ashton's pit guy is anywhere near, can come into my booth real fast, I'd appreciate it. Ashton Abdul's pit guy. You could uh, come see me real fast when you're not about to pit him. That'd be great. Meanwhile, Van Dalen out in front is actually about to put a lap on Jared. Running right now in the three spot. Mason Fuller in the two, Jared Tebow in the three. Tom Rennerdeck, after his flame outs now, up to fourth, followed by Kyle, Jared, Chad, Mitchell, Ashton, and Bradley. How is it every time I pit him, he has an issue? Is, uh, has he flamed out or anything? No. no. Okay, no, so I, he's just, he's missed two laps then. I'll get him caught up. Yeah. Every, last time I pit him, he asked me two yeah, things. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I've, I've been keeping track, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't want to add a lap if it wasn't right. Nope, he's fine. Here comes Seth. Here comes Mason, both of them clean entrances. Look at that, they're put on the pedestal at the same time and their exit at the same time. So the battle of the dads, I'd say it's about dead even. And so we're gonna get Ashton Abdul caught up here. He might be in fourth place. Let's see what happens here. More pit stops coming, Bradley's in. Let's see what happens. There's Jared Tebow, Jared in third, Ashton Abdul now in fourth, I'm getting it right. Tom Rinderneck fifth, then Kyle, Chad, Jared Mitchell, and Bradley as uh, I've been keeping track and Ashton with no issues, just uh, missing the loop a couple times. So we got him caught up, we'll keep an eye on it. There's Ashton right there actually. Tebow came in, he's now around, so it's Mason and Seth, and they're back at it. Mason's gotten around Seth. Our second pit stop is over. We're gonna do, I think, uh, two more pit stops. Maybe one more pit stop, it's gonna be close. Alex, Brad's in lap, she's in lap down. I know. Okay. There is Mason and Seth. Dropping in, coming up. They actually have Jared Tebow running in order behind him in the three spot. Ashton Abdul is fourth. Tom Rinderneck now fifth. Then Chad Parks, Kyle, Jared, Mitchell, and Bradley. Meanwhile, the battle for the lead continues. Let's see, it looks like Mason stretched out a little bit. There's been some action in front of these guys. Jared's clinging to the back of Seth Van Dalen as they start to pick apart a little bit of traffic here. Fuller trying to seal the deal here. He had to finish in front of Jared no matter what. Right now, that's what's happening. So Van Dalen trying to just take a win away, get a good podium for the Techno team. So Mason and Seth still pretty close. Jared and Ashton, and Tom Rinderneck has actually caught up to the same lap as Ashton Abdul. So we'll keep an eye on that, as Ashton actually goes upside down, right in front of your leader, and he'll have second place behind him. Good job, thank you. So here we go again. So far, it's been the Mason and Seth show. And 
Seth just seems just a, a tick quicker now. It seemed in qualifying that the TLR cars were better. And now here it seemed like, especially Seth's car, maybe just a tick faster in certain parts of the racetrack. Might have figured something out. Tom Rinderneck has caught up to Ashton Abdul for fourth place after that early flame out. You can see Ashton in front of him, Jared Tebow, actually stuck between those two. And Jared's just kind of on his own lap. Mason and Seth. Seth bouncing off the putt. Oh, Seth rolling it over. Gonna give up some time there to Mason. Ashton and Tom Rinderneck battling back there for the fourth spot. Just a little bit of a TLR ego basically at that point. The white and blue buggy of Ashton and Duel and the all white buggy of Tom Rinderneck. Tom doesn't have his fancy colors on his car. Ashton rolled it over. Tom's a good sport, and as we get to watch Mason try to fend off the hard-charging Seth Van Dalen yet again. Nine and a half minutes left to go. Every time Mason thinks he's getting away, Seth reels him back in. And they're gonna have one more pit stop as well. Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> Ashton, doing a pretty good job of keeping running it. Oh, just as I say that, Tom able to dunk on him right there. He uh, set him up about two corners prior. We're back to the leaders though, Mason and Seth. 8.40 on the clock. One more pit stop to come. And they should be good to go to the end. Again, Jared Tebow in that three spot. Then Tom, Ashton, Jared, Chad, Mitchell, and Bradley. Back there in seventh. Gonna have the leaders coming up behind you quickly. Seth just hounding Mason Fuller. Guys starting to get called in for pits. The last pit stop. 7.45 left to go. Mason and Seth one more time for sure. Here they come. Seth bouncing off just a little bit, and I'd say, once again, just about dead even. Jared gets a lap back. So here we go, final seven minutes. Mason and Seth, they've been wheel to wheel, nose to tail, bar to bar the whole time. We have our final seven minutes. Tom Rinderneck solidly now in the fourth spot in front of Ashton Abdul, then Jared, Chad, Kyle, Mitchell, and Bradley. We are watching the battle for the lead. Can they keep this up for another six minutes? In 45 seconds. Both of them just hugging it. Nice and tight over the big ski jump. Just landing on the top of that new little tabletop. Seth poking his nose in there. And Seth just wants, oh no, Mason Fuller finds the inside and there goes Seth to the lead. 
We were waiting for something to break, and there it was. Not literally, but you know what I mean. A straightaway between first and second now. I'm 40 to go. Pro 4 short course truck coming up next. By the way, fast lap is a 21.6 set by Seth Van Dalen. Seth just ran a 21.9, so he's only about three tenths off of his fast lap of the race as Mason goes over again. You can almost feel it, maybe just that pace on these long races can kind of break you. We got one out of the park, help us out. Help us out, we got one out of the park, help us out. That might have been Mitchell. Oh, no, that was Kyle Holmberg. Meanwhile, your leader is Seth, it's Mason. Jared, Tom, Ashton, Jared Wiggins, Chad Parks, Mitchell Powell, Kyle Holmberg, Bradley Peterson. So Van Dalen dropping in. He's still got to worry about Mason back there, but he's got about 5.3 seconds now. Coming up behind, uh, that might be Chad Parks. Yes, it is. Pick a boo. Oh, your leader goes for a little tumble and gives some time back to Mason. Works through that left field one more time. 3.40 to go. It's crunch time. Yeah, 3.4 seconds. This should seal the deal either way for Mason Fuller. Seth's not part of the points, and Mason just had to finish in front of Jared to get the Nitro buggy. Points chase for the season. See this picture back up on the wall inside for Nitro buggy. I think he had it two years ago, I think. It is one of the two. It was either E-Buggy or Nitro Buggy. I can't remember. You can see Mason. 9 at 2.9 seconds, so the gap closing up just a little bit. Two and a half to go. About a straightaway for Seth Van Dalen. Seth's got some clean track in front of him, so no worries there. Seth down the straightaway. Two minutes left to go now on the clock. The gap is back to 4.6, just like that. Van Dalen Techno Car, J Concepts Tires. You got J Concepts Tires in second place as well. TLR, then you got AK and uh, Techno in third. Tom Rinnernecht, TLR and J Concepts Tires. Ashton Abdul on J Concepts Tires. One minute, 10 seconds to go. 
probably four laps here for Seth Van Dalen. He can maintain that lead over Mason. They've got one lap over Jared Tebow. Tebow's got about 11 seconds over Tom Rinderneck. That's impressive. Tom Rinderneck flamed out on the second lap and is fighting back to fourth and being on the same lap as Jared. Well, that's pretty good. Tom is right there behind Mason Fuller, just catching a toe, basically. So Tebow kind of has to make sure that he uh, does what he needs to and doesn't get cleaned out here by Mitchell Pavel. Mitchell, you know that's uh, Jared in front of you, so don't run him over. Trying to make sure he gets on the podium here. 20 seconds. Seth Van Dalen. Trying to seal the deal here. Opening up a bigger gap now, it's seven seconds. That right there might just do it. Cross the line, you're done. Mason caught at the line. Mason Fuller caught at the line. Oh my gosh, I got that on video, that was cool. Ken Parks is like, dude. There it is, you guys are done. Seth Van Dalen, Mason Fuller, Jared Tebow, Tom Rinderneck, Ashton Abdul, Jared Wiggins, Mitchell Pavel, Chad Parks, Kyle Holmberg, and Bradley Peterson. That is a race in 30 minute A main. Top three inside for picks, Pro Four, be ready to go.